Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome to an all-new Let's Play. Let's see what this one is. Uh-oh. I don't know if you saw that. Uh-oh. Uh... Ah! Hold on two seconds. Okay. Hopefully that should be better. That was like... Ear but, uh... I do like the to turn like to different angles you can press the shoulder buttons which that's kind of nice anything else to look at I'm not gonna remember that whole thing of words that's just not going to happen up oh, da 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 okay I am disappointed you not earn gold. Yeah, let's go back. But, yeah, there we go. Look at the bedpost. You with your hand, maybe. Sure, just go around destroying people's beds. Apparently I can't turn around in this hallway. Anything to touch? That's backwards. I can't turn over to that other door? What about this door? Apparently I can't mess with other doors. Why would you need to do that? I wonder why the sound cut out. Uh, hello? Oh. Okay, I can't turn here. Upstairs hall or upstairs hall? Let's go over here. This game is so exciting. I'm like losing my shit at how excited I am with this game. I mean, at least the controls aren't that bad. Yes, you can. Just walk under it or walk over it. it no, I thought the game froze for a second. Look at this guy with his silly little neck poof. Do you really need all these extra, like, hallways and stuff? Maybe I can turn here. That's exciting. Uh, we're in Hogwarts. What's going on here? All these portraits are going to talk to us. Do I have to go, like, forward again? Awkward. Can I look at the... that? No. Where's my continental breakfast? Paint scraper. Well, why would you steal someone's tools anyway? That poor guy is going to come to paint. And he's going to be like, oh, need to scrape off a little bit of this. Nope, Nancy Drew took your shit. For being so loud in the beginning, it's kind of 
odd that there's no music for the rest of the game. Could really use some. Unless it just, like, bugged out. What's this? Secretary desk. Why is the secretary desk in the parlor? That is a good question. The rumors are true. I bought a Victorian mansion. It's funny you should mention Abby. Okay, the the text in this, they push it too much. I thought it was like mention a bee, and I was like, mention a bee is not a word. She's actually the one who decided to go in on this venture with me. We're still in the process of restoring the place. It's a lot of fun, but we're beginning to get a little worried that the uh, that we'll fall behind schedule if we're not careful. There have been several strange accidents. If you're ever in San Francisco, look us up. Rose. Navigate in to the cabinet. Ooh, fire extinguisher. It's good to know it's here. The problem is, like most kind of click games like this, like uninvited and stuff, you at least, like, you can still do multiple things. Telephone bill? <laughs> Don't be silly. Who uses the home phone? American speaking telephone company? 1894? Okay. Uh, okay. Hay and grain? This person calls really bore boring, boring people. Wang Davis. Property papers. <laughs> 4653 California Street has been accepted. Nancy Drew, registered accountant. Why would you leave, like, papers about the place that you just bought lying around on a couch in a bed and breakfast that has people like Nancy Drew, who's obviously a kleptomaniac here? Up, oh, it's going to be a secret switch. It's not stuck. Maybe there's not a secret switch back there, and you're just crazy. Please don't tell me I have music theory. Please don't tell me I have to like play the piano or something. Oh boy, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I really didn't learn this in you know second grade. Who are you, creepy person? What's your name? Oh, I thought his name was Locus for a second. I was like, that's a horrible name. Mythical beings. Yeah, I know what a phoenix is. Get the fuck out of my face. Nope. Dun dun. Yeah. Shouldn't steal stuff when, you know, people are here. Crazy ass. Oh, good lord, you're creepy looking. Luis Chandler. I didn't hear you come in and, you know, peruse through my stuff. He looks a little too excited. An antique dealer. Use the library. I'm helping her with my knowledge on Victorian era for... Ugh, see, look at that. Look right after era. That F is way too far away from it. So I thought it was, like, era F or furnishings and things. I don't care if the house is haunted. period before the great earthquake oh you mean like books on how to mine gold or you know how to enslave the chinese all those great books that we lost when california had the earthquakes screw you dick 
All right, we'll come up. Ah, Mahjong. Are you gonna do like seventh guess where I have to play Mahjong to like open a door somehow? Because that's the way things work. In these games, it would be so inconvenient if you like lived in that house. Like, damn, I didn't move the Black Knight right. Now I can't get into my bedroom. Lizzie Applegate. I don't really feel like reading all this. She's starting to play Bandit's Treasure. Riddle of the Chinese Box, Fire in the Phoenix Eye, and Rainbow's Gold. Also starred in You're Dead. Anything over here? Up, 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 up. Oh god, I am going to have to play a piano. Ugh. You know, I've never liked pianos as an instrument. I don't really like the way they sound, except in, like, like Flight of the Bumblebee and Moonlight Sonata, but that's it. But considering that those songs sound almost identical. <clears throat> Saloon door. <laughs> Let's get drunk. No, I don't want to play the piano. Let me guess. It's going to be like, here's sheet music. Swanee River 3. Ugh. I, I'm going to load that. Talk to Charlie. I don't like any of those responses. Oh yeah, just let some random dude restore a Victorian mansion, because that's a good idea. Where's Rose Lady? Is? She needs to be smacked. She's probably causing the accidents. Or because you hire incompetent people, and people that don't belong in your bed and breakfast. Really, you think Rose is looking for me? Of course she is. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. She. I've decided Nancy Drew is a kleptomaniac. She's, look, the cash register. You got all this other stuff to look at, like, oh, look at all these antique liquors. Oh, look at this cool bar stool. Cash register. That's all she thinks about. It's a gold digger. You shouldn't go in the fireplace either. So she's suicidal on a kleptomaniac. You know, you think these portraits and stuff and newspaper articles would be somewhat relevant? Usually when you own a bed and breakfast, you want to put up, like, history of the house and stuff. Just saying. Crazy people. Service stairs. Dumbwaiter. The rope. Why would you cut the rope on your dumbwaiter? Dinning room, service stairs. Let's go to the dinning room. Is that Rose? I don't want to talk to Rose. Let's steal some of Rose's stuff. Does she? Is there like a gold chalice somewhere around here Nancy Drew could steal? Up, oh, up, oh, fine china. Only the best to steal. Oh, now even better, going straight for the drawer. Fire insurance. What's all these? Uh, I don't get it. Asian Pacific Fire Insurance Company. If you expect me to read this, you're on drugs. One million dollars. <clears throat> oh, fire and earthquake. Exciting. Why would you leave something like that in the dining room? Shouldn't she just have, like, an office? Like, you are disorganized, Rose. You should be ashamed of your management skills. 
Your hair looks terrible. That Abby found? Who the hell is Abby? Maybe it was a place for bootleggers? Like one of those, I forget what they called them. Uh, like the underground liquor stores during Prohibition where they used to have bars and big mansions down in the basement so that way people could like come in and get drunk. Well, Abby's on drugs. Up, uh, yep. She's thinking of burning down the house for the insurance money. What? Really? What's the turn button? This is like a psych exam puzzle. Yeah, I can't do that. That won't be able to do it. Because I have nothing but smaller triangles. No. Apparently I can't place that there. Oh, you did it the stupid way. For stupid people. Apparently that one goes there. I got an idea. I'll just hover it over. Yeah. Just hover it over the place till it turns light brown. I mean, I don't understand why you can't just put that there. The same freaking triangles. It's the whole point of these puzzles. Identifying shapes. I've done these freaking puzzles like four times. Like the whole like psych exam fit the puzzles into place because I had to change schools and stuff. Solve a mystery, or you hear me hear for me to do like repairs on the house. Steal the paint scraper. Sweet. Stealing your tools. Cleat. Ow. Yeah, let's not mess with that. Let's not destroy the chandelier the first day I'm here. We'll do that on the second day. Uh, apparently I can't turn here, so here I can. Eh, what's with the? It's annoying that you can't like. Oh, can I pry off the thing? Probably not. So turn around. Uh, 
uh, let's go over here. I don't see anything on the ceiling that might be helpful. No. Ugh. Annoying. I can't search that great. Alright, I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, these kind of games are boring. Sweet. What the hell's that? You're not going to investigate it? It's obviously a speaker. Someone's trying to pretend like there's ghostly stuff happening. Friggin' Scooby-Doo mysteries here. I am a servant going up the servant stairs. All right. Yeah, let's bust in. Yeah, maybe it's a speaker that's in the vent. No, I don't like either of these options, because I just said, oh, and you do. And she's like, there's an unhappy ghost. And so then my character's like, oh, I don't believe in ghosts, but... The Valdez. The Exxon Valdez. You're a bitch. Not because she's a woman. Because she forced me to just say anything she could about ghosts. It's obsessed with ghosts. Why does this one have ropes? And the other one doesn't. You think if the rope's cut, they should fall. Because it works on a winch and pulley system. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> ah, I see. I had to talk to her first. I have a paint scraper. I have a paint scraper in my hand. We'll bust that fucker open. Really? Whatever. I'll just go this way. I have a feeling that Cleet is probably going to be like, oh no, the bad guy's in there. She doesn't notice us yet. Did he leave yet? No, oh, not here. You're a butthole. And you probably need that tile to open the trap door. Stupid people. Should have taken the service stairs. Oh, music! You want music in every room, so put it in the vent, so that way it's all creepy. She 
she was a teacher? How do we let people get like this? Wait a minute. We're missing something in between. All right. And why do I have to, like, get permission from this butthole to freaking take this tile? Because these obviously, like, aren't his books. Can I tell him there's, like, an emergency in the kitchen? Abby wants to make love to you. Get out of here. He doesn't care. Alright. <sighs> Did the guy leave the saloon yet? No. I really hope I don't have to play a piano to open a secret door. I'm, I'm just really hoping. I'm here to investigate things, but not when people are around. Why, if people see me investigating, they might get suspicious, even though they know I'm here to investigate. What the? Ah! What? Yeah, we really don't have time for this. Time to, you know, get to the things that actually work. She really has a terrible haircut. <clears throat> no. Oh, look at her. Look at her freaking hat. That's amazing. We don't have time for this, but I'll I'll participate. It's like what the fuck? <clears throat> Your wife is dead. They say, I see you. Apparently it's Ox. I guess. Dog, Squirrel, Tiger, Ram. Anything new to search? Let's play Nancy Crew with me, Mark Dice. See you later.